Well, unlike pretty much, well, according to the um, declarations of interest at the start of this, I'm just I'm the only person in this whole chamber who actually lives in an HMO in Cambridge. Um, well, okay, at the moment, I live in an HMO, which is one of the, I think, about 260 out of about 5,000, which is actually licensed. Um, it's a very rare thing in this city. And the only reason it's licensed, the only reason the proper checks have to be done in the land or the proper checks in terms of savings on have to be done in the land the license is because it just so happens that there is a seller, a seller, a seller an attic, which has been converted, which means that it just falls into the, the category of being three stories. Now, I think that it is clearly ridiculous and arbitrary to have it so that mandatory licensing only applies to um, an HMO which are uh, three or more stories and uh, have five or more um, like people and so on and etc. Et 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 so it is clearly, in my opinion, uh, you know, quite substantially you know, arbitrary. It means that if that um, seller was not there, um, it wouldn't make much difference to our house in terms of the internal layouts and in terms of you know, it would mean that, that that HMO wouldn't have to be licensed. So I think that the, the three stories thing does give quite a lot of scope for unscrupulous private landlords <laughs> to try and you know, ram as many people as they can in order to maximise their profits in, a, in an HMO, which you know, strikes me as being you know, silly. And this is what I mean. I don't know quite what it is. But I know one will, will understand. But you know, this report that we're, we're asking for does ask for these options to be considered, and, and they, we have outlined the kind of baseline of things that. We off the top, you know, just initially think might might be sensible ideas, but unlike the the, 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 the group policy, we do not have the view that um, if the evidence was to show that, that there would be negative consequences of what we propose, we would just blindly go ahead with it anyway. If if, if, if this report was the very important report in the original motion has now been amended out and replaced by this, you know, meaning else, um, uh, you know, replacement in the amendment, <laughs> then if, if, if the evidence had come back and said. Oh, well, you know, actually, this will push up rent success at this time. We would have been able to propose this because we're not interested. We're interested in listening to the evidence, not just rambling through stuff because, you know, because they, they're blindly. Um, so, you know, I think it, it, there is a definite argument for expanding the, the, the mandatory licensing regime. And I suppose it's what our motion talked about, which was the, the amended motion, and indeed, including how the Council for Moskis, which doesn't really address at, at, at all. Um, so, and, you know, and as for some. So, so some of the ridiculous comments that we've had in the chamber, I mean, the characteristically hysterical, ridiculous comments by um, Councillor Brown, um, already, um, we, when we look into the definitions of HMO assessments are made about, about um, what counts as separate households and so on, already that's made. And I don't see, I don't, I don't see the police state coming to your house anytime soon. So it's just ridiculous. So it completely undermines your credibility, as usual, um, to make these kind of ridiculous comments. And the way that this has been utterly misrepresented by the party opposite um, and by, by others outside the chamber, <laughs> and that's right, figures. We're not anti shared housing. I live in a shared house. I'm not going to support the original motion, and I for the very don't support the other. You know, if, if I thought that our original proposals were going to damage um, the potential of the people living in, in shared housing, and being lectured by a lot of people who live in great big houses, um, who don't live in shared houses, who live in great big um, unoccupied houses in, in the outside of the city, about, about how it's like, you know, so make sure. I think it's ridiculous. What, what you're actually in favour of is a completely unregulated free, free for all. In, in, in many HMOs, with, with landlords that are able to get away with what they like. And let's bear in mind that because the group opposite has failed over the last 12 years to build with any housing because they, have, they never have plan B <coughs> for building housing in the city, rents are high and, and it's a buy and it's a, a seller's market in, in, in the HMO market, which does mean a lot of capacity for ex exploitation, good <laughs> conditions, and so on. And because the, the more context this is in your failures, <coughs> they put as a stopgap measure as part of a solution to address some of that, the housing issues we have in terms of the poor accommodation, poor conditions, some extension of mandatory HMO pricing, which your party will support in numerous places that they're not really. So don't get tired and start lecturing us as if we have a murder of the first born here. Like <coughs> you supported parts of these proposals in Oxford yourself. The Green Party are introducing these, these proposals in Brighton and Hope. Um, I disagree with them. It would be much more good for Yogi Cat and what Tom was doing, and a lot of ways the Green Party, to be very honest. Um, so, <laughs> and in terms of the planning issue, in, 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 in Cambridge City Council's own houses and old occupation licensing procedure, at the end, it says, and this links into what we have in the local plans, if large concentrations of HMOs exist in parts of Cambridge and there are no problems, 
The council could investigate the possibility of implementing an article for the election. Uh, so the council will also have some of the viewers. What? Have one for the or something. George, don't do that. Get your flag next round. Can I, can I <laughs> 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 I think he's too young to 